hey y'all welcome back to the channel today we're going to make spring fling soap let's get started we're going to mix the lye water with the oils and blend together we're going to let the music play and come back when everything is well incorporated Now that we have everything well incorporated, we're gonna add the batter to the colorant. So the yellow is full throttle from Nurture Soap. The purple is Pow Pow Purple. The pink is Tickle Pink by Mad Micah's. The blue is Key West with a mixture of Twilight from Mad Micah's. And in the base, we're gonna add titanium dioxide. So the idea for this soap is to have the base white and do a drop swirl with the rest of the colors in the center. So I chose these colors because spring is my favorite time of the year. So these vibrant colors remind me so much of spring. It's so bright, it's so sunny, all the flowers are blooming. I love it, it's so great. So I am going to now stir in all of the colorants, make sure everything is well mixed together. If you would like to see anything specific on the channel, like a different colorants or any ideas that you have that you would like for me to do, let me know. Leave it down in the description box. I'm going to let the music play while we continue to make it. We're going to add the fragrance oil. This fragrance oil is by Wellington Fragrance. It is a Jimmy Choo dupe. This smells amazing. I haven't worked with this fragrance before, so I'm trying to keep the batter as thin as possible. So I'm only going to stick blend it a little bit. I'm just going to stick blend this just enough to get the fragrance oil well combined. I'm going to scrape off this stick blender so that way we don't get all that blue inside of our white. So far, so good. The fragrance oil is acting really well in the batter. I mean, it's keeping it fluid. So keep our fingers crossed that it'll continue to stay like this and it won't speed up trace on us and be a, a soap in a bowl. So we're gonna pour the white down as a base. And then once we pour the white down as a base, we're gonna come back and we're gonna pour the rest of the colors in the center. So we're gonna start with the pink. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Fragrance oil still is doing well. Uh, it's still fluid. So, so let's see if we can get some nice drops with this. We're just gonna continue the process with each color.
it's at this point when I notice that the batter is starting getting thick. So I'm gonna stir it. it. Once I stirred it, it was able to loosen back up. So hopefully that'll be the case with all of them. We can just stir them and then they'll get back to being fluid again, which seems to be working out pretty well so far. I'm just gonna spoon the rest of the batter inside of the mold and then I'll swirl it with a swirling tool like the end. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the top. Uh, let's play around with it. So we'll do some little swoops. Eh, don't really like that. Go back in. Oh, we'll do some little swirls. Let's do the swirls and spray it with some alcohol and come back for the cut. Okay, y'all, we're back for the cut. Let's cut this soap open and we can see what it looks like on the inside. I'm so excited.
okay so we got a little sneak peek oh wow that looks really nice i love the colors they're so vibrant this soap turned out nice when i remake it i won't change a thing so let's continue to cut it open so we can see how the swirls look on the inside that looks like a teapot to me what do y'all think the drop swirl in this soap came out amazing So far, I love the drop swirl on every bar. This bar came out better than I expected. If you like this video, join us, hit that subscribe button. See you next time.